Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today in this episode of VIT Triple E Questions with Solution, we are going to be looking at some sample questions of aptitude asked in VIT Triple E. So VIT Triple E contains a section for aptitude and it contains some very important topics to be studied. So in this particular episode, we're going to be looking at some sample questions based on these topics. Let's start with our, with our first question. This is a question based on syllogism. In the following question, select the set of conclusions that logically follow from the given statements. All cats are elephants, some elephants are camels, no rabbit is a camel are the statements. The conclusions are some elephants are not rabbits, some camels are not cats, some rabbits are cats, no camel is a rabbit. Now which of these conclusions are correct. Is it option A only three? Is it option B only four? Is it option C both one and four? I mean only one and four? Or is it option D both one and two? So we know we know of three statements here. We are now going to represent these three statements using circular diagrams, aka the Venn diagrams. So first statement all cats are elephants. So that means we t take a small circle, write cats inside, and th r this will represent the set of cats. And since the statement says all cats are elephants, the small set will be completely inside a larger set marked elephants. Now, the next statement. Some elephants are camels. Now what does this mean? This means that the set of elephants overlaps with another set which is called camels. And finally statement C says no rabbit is a camel. So what this statement specifically tells you is that the sets rabbits and the set camels do not intersect with it. They do not overlap at all. So this is the situation that can be viewed from these three statements. So we can check out the conclusions, whether they're correct. Now conclusion one, some elephants are not rabbits. Now this is unclear because this particular conclusion is not present, is not validated. by the three statements. So statement C says no rabbit is a camel. There, are, there is nothing in the statements which relates the set rabbits to elephants. So therefore that is, this conclusion is incorrect. Now statement two, I mean conclusion two, some camels are not cats. Well, we only know that some elephants are camels. There, there is no specific specificity about which elephants whether they're cats and elef whether they're part of cats or whether they're independent of cats so therefore this this conclusion cannot be found now next some rabbits are cats again this would mean that the set rabbits will have to you know overlap the set elements and also the set cats which we do not find from the, you know, we do not find this from the three statements. So conclusion three is also wrong. The correct, now let's look at conclusion four. Conclusion four says that no, no camel is a rabbit. Now this is correct because if no rabbit is a camel, this means that camels and rabbits do not overlap. So that means none of the rabbits can be called, none of the camels can be called a rabbit and none of the rabbits can be called a camel. So this conclusion holds. So conclusion four does follow. So that means we can safely say that option B only four follows is the correct answer. Option A says only three follows whereas we know that it's not validated. In option C it says one and four follow so therefore they say that one is validated whereas in fact it is not validated and both one and two follow means that these two are correct which again is not 
validate it. So option D is also incorrect. The correct option is option B only conclusion four that is no camel as rabbit follows from the given statements. Let's look at the next question. This is a question from number series. Find the missing number. We have one, two, six, and 21 present here. And the options given are 80, 88, 40, 36. So first of all, let's write the number series down and find out the gaps in between the num in between the elements. So between one and two, we have a gap of one. So one plus one gives you two. Next, it's two and six. Two plus four gives you six. And then we have 21. Six plus 15 equals 21. And then you have the blank, which you need to fill out. So as you can see, there isn't anything, there isn't any, you know, connection that is obvious from the gaps that we've demarcated. So we need to think deeper here. Now, suppose we try to multiply the first element by the position one and then add by the position one. So what you get is one into one plus one. That is one plus one, which is equal to two. Well, that proves that one and two are related. Now, how do we relate two and six with that? So two is the second position. So two times two plus two gives you the third element. That means it's four plus two, which is six. So this is validated. And since six is the third, um, position, we need to find out, we need to check out whether this relation holds as well. So 6 into 3 plus 3. 6 into 3 is 18 plus 3 is 21. So as you can see, our pattern that is multiplied by the position, so number multiplied by the position, and then plus the position gives you the next number. So this is our pattern. Now using this pattern, we need to find out the next number from 21. So since 21 is the fourth you know, number in this series, the idea is to multiply 21 by 4 and then add 4. So that means 21 times 4 is 84 plus 4 will give you the answer, which is 88. So therefore, among the four options, it is easily understood that option B, 88, is the correct answer for this question. Now, in all kinds of questions of number series, you either have to find the next number or to find the missing number in between the series or to find an error in the series. So anyway, all of these, you know, types of questions have the one basic rule. Find a pattern between the series series digits. And then after finding the pattern between the numbers, it's very easy to fill out the criteria, whether it's to find a missing number or to find the next number or to correct, to find out the wrong element in that series. Now, let's look at another question. This one is from coding and decoding. In a certain code language, 3A2B7C means truth is eternal. 7C5A8B3A means enmity is not eternal. And 9A4D2B8B means truth does not perish. Which of the following means enmity in that language? So, <laughs> From statements one, and from examples one and two, what can we find out in common? We can see that 3a and 7c are common in both statements one and two. And we also see that the words is and eternal are common in both of these. So therefore, 3a 
the options 3a and 7c has to represent either is or eternal and therefore they do not mean enmity so both options a and b are incorrect now next we need to find out any common terms between two and examples two and three and we found out one we can see that the code 8b is common in both of these examples and both of these examples have the word not so therefore 8b means not and that means option C 8b is incorrect so we now assigned a possible meaning to most of the code the the only unique code here is 5a and enmity is the only word that's left so therefore enmity means 5a in the code language so that means option D is the correct option for this question now let's look at another question this one is from direction test you walk 15 meters north from your house and then turn south covered 5 meters and then turned east and covered 10 meters in which direction are you from your house so this is a question on direction that involves movement so it's a good idea to draw what is being said in the question let's suppose X is the house in question and now you walked from your house in the north direction so we have a compass here for you know finding that out easily so we walk in the north direction that is upwards for about 15 meters so we'll take that as 15 meters next next you walked down five meters and you walked south you turned south and you walked five meters so you walked five meters south and now you're at this position next they say you, they ask you to turn east and cover 10 meters so that is east and the distance is 10 meters so now this is the direction of yours from your house so we take the house as the origin point and on moving on moving along the you know direct route from you direct displacement from you from your house to you we can see that there is that you are actually northeast from your house so this means that options a b and c are incorrect option d is the correct option none of these the d so the correct answer is your direction from your house is north east so that means none of these three options are correct so option d has to be the correct option none of these so if you were to check it out then if you moved if you checked out east then it's a different direction again west means that again you, you won't be aligned west with the house and then if you look at north that means that goes along the exact path which I part of the exact path that I took so therefore east west and north do not are not the correct directions of mine from my house or, or, or of yours from your house so therefore option D is the correct option here and we found out the correct direction which is northeast now here is the final question of your of this episode if the third day of a month is Monday which of the following will be the fifth day from the 21st of that month is it Monday Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday so 
we have two pieces of information. The third day of a month is Monday, and the day that we need to find out is the fifth day from the 21st of that month. So 21 plus 5 is equal to 26. So the day in question that we need to find out will be the 26th day of that month. Having said that, let's look at a calendar. I mean, you don't need to actually look at a calendar because you know that the third is a Monday. What you need to do is to add seven days to get the next Monday, which is 10th. And then you go for it for adding another seven days and then you get 17th, which is the consequent, which is the subsequent Monday. After that, you add another seven, you get 24th, and that is the last Monday before 26th. So now we know that the 24th is a Monday. That means the 25th has to be a Tuesday, and the 26th of that month is a Wednesday. So therefore, the correct answer is option C, Wednesday. Now, all the other options are incorrect because Monday means the 24th, Tuesday means the 25th, and Thursday means the 27th, whereas we need to find out the day that is the 26th of that month. So therefore, option C, Wednesday, is the correct option for this question. Now that concludes this episode of VIT Triple E Questions with Solution. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful episodes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, that is Brain Blitz Audios. And if you want to get the latest updates from Brain Blitz Audios, then hit that notifications button below the video. You can also access the playlist for previous videos of aptitude, math, physics, chemistry, etc of VIT Triple E from the playlist, so be sure to click the link in the description down below. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye bye for now.